Hey everybody, welcome to the All Things Fun Vidcast. I'm your host, Ed Evans. I'm here with my co-host, Allison Eckel. And going in Again? Again, again. We're talking about new books that come out today, Wednesday, gosh, February 1st, 2012. That's crazy talk. So uh, let's see, what do we have here today? It's February. It is. It's, it's Mirror Month. Mirror Month? Mirror Month on Aquaman Tram. We can charge him for these plugs. <laughs> no. All right, so now I only have one 52 title. So that means you should start. All right, we'll get it out of the way. You've got the uh, new human Red Lantern, correct? I do, I do. Issue 6 of Red Lantern. Call him Rancor. The human Red Lantern is here. So it's the first uh, Red Lantern, Lantern of Rage. Uh, so it's the first human Red Lantern. And he uh, picks up here. You saw a little bit of him at the end of the last issue, and it looks like he's uh, come out full force in this issue. So Red Lantern number 6. Yep. I had this question earlier. The art on the cover gives him red flaming hair, and um, so just to be clear, it's not anybody we know. No. It's not Guy. No. It's nope. not Roy. Nope. Okay. Nope. So it's just character. some redheaded dude. It's a ginger. You'd think there power, wouldn't be that uh, many power ring wielder. who are superheroes. Uh, ginger or, lantern. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Good, so what else do we have here, kids? I have a few more DC Comics New 52s uh, in the number sixes. Um, I have Static Shock. And yeah. Hawk and Dove. And yeah, Batman. no, well, Batman and Dove. Right. We're not trying to sell comics. Batman and Dove. Men of War. See a trend in these titles. <laughs> well, Men of War. These happen um, to be all the ones. Men of War. We'll no. continue past number eight. Is well, wait a minute. Men yes. of War, doesn't that cross over with OMAC at some point? Uh, right at the end. At the end of? Issue eight. Okay. We still have this uh, Adventures of Frank Rock. And what is the backup? The backups in Men of War have been very surprising and very cool. Um, These you were can all. Tell we were very prepared. Yeah, right. Well, what we knew about them was that they have a few more issues left. These were yeah. all good stories. These 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 comics. They they're all. They have a particular. They appeal to a particular reader. They have strong stories. They were all good, but. I guess their numbers weren't high enough. Well, I mean, the, the interesting thing about Men of War, um, other than the Frank Rock, uh, the new Sergeant Rock, front feature, mm -hmm. the same type of stories will continue on in the GI combat. Exactly. Yeah. You'll see even more. You'll get Haunted Tank and War of the Time for God, Unknown Soldiers, all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping we're getting current day versions. That would be great. Current day versions. Updated. Yes. yes. Yeah. It's just not what I heard. Contemporary. Um, okay, and and we also have OMAC, number six. Show the selling point. <laughs> Make the noise. Yeah, this is. <laughs> Make it, the noise. It's just you know, and the artwork has been. Um, what are they? Are they trying to emulate Kirby? And they're doing yeah. a very good In job. In the artwork, Kirby, Keith Giffen is a very good Kirby imitator. Inside's a little different. On this one, I flipped through and I happened to find one page where I just you know, as a woman. I don't mind how they draw women sometimes, but there are moments when you can just tell that a man drew the outfit because there's no way a woman would do this. As, as a man, sense. I was offended by that. It makes panel. no sense at all. But this might be a selling point for some of you out there. I don't know if you can see this outfit. Maybe, maybe not. And that is Lashina. Uh, Lashina? It looks like she, but it's uh, not. It's this Lilani on the cover, yeah. but it certainly looks like Lashina from Female Furies. That's what I thought when I first opened it. But it's and a different character. of course, the, the sound that all of her opponents are hoping to hear is... Yes, so she's, she's not um, quite standing upright. And if she, as soon as she stands upright, I think what you'll hear... Nice. I'm not sure if you heard that, but I think it would just go pop. And, you know, there, there it is. And probably the bad... Whoever she's fighting would just go, oh my goodness, and there's her advantage. <laughs> but, but, but of course, she is a new guy. So the is mother, she? I don't know. The mother box is holding everything together there for her. There you go. Maybe that's how it works. It's just magic, or just magic. really good intergalactic fashion tape. Those new gods, they know how to make bras. I don't know. So anyway. Omax 6, <laughs> check it out. Omax 6 has a couple different selling points. You know, buy it for whatever you want. Then, what we also have for New 52, getting off of Omax costuming, is um, Action Comics. My pick. Glenn. My pick of the week. Action Comics. Um, I, I've been having a fight on uh, Facebook with a friend of mine, Dan, who has really hated the Grant Morrison socialist Superman. And I kept telling him, read Action Comics number five. Socialist it, Superman? Yes. 
he goes into social version of Superman. But he wants to get back to the real superhero Superman. And it's like, this is it. The, okay. Action Comics number six, you have the Legion mm-hmm. with the current day. I'm saying that. Grown up again. Legions. The grown up Legion. So it's Lightning Man, Cosmic Man, and Saturn Woman. Woman, yeah. With the contemporary Superman in the armor. In a time Fight, bubble. Fighting the anti Superman army in the past to save the socialist Superman. So it's kind of like the bad guys killing Superboy to prevent Superman from happening. It's a head trip. You have all kinds of like kryptonite colors and some background on them and what they're about, some Brainiac AI, you've got all kinds of stuff. It is so awesome. And it's got dinosaurs. (laughs) What did you say, so you should open with that. The adult (laughs) legion Dinosaurs, time bubbles, time traps. I mean, it, come on. Got to open with that. Grant Morrison, <laughs> Superman. This is Action the book. Action Comics, number six. Awesome. All kinds All right. of awesome sauce. Doesn't matter. Put it wherever ah. you want. <laughs> what else we got? Are we doing more DC? We have yep. time? Yep. Uh, Animal Man. We're taking a break from the fight against the Hunters 3. We get to find out about his movie, Red Thunder. Oh, right, because he's an actor or something. Yes, yes. Uh, Batwing. Continuing to find out what happened to the, um, I forget what their names are. Those guys. Those guys. They heard him from <laughs> Africa. He's still fighting massacre. It's a beautiful book. Beautifully yeah. rendered book. We have Tony Daniel, Detective Comics, Batman. Uh, the Penguin is opening his casino, and we get a look at some interesting new Batman villains. The mm. Swamp Thing, Alec Holland versus The Rot. Horrific. Horrific, good read. Good, awful stuff. <laughs> There's also Justice League International number six. Speaking of Batman, Green Arrow number six. Jurgens and Giffen ending up. We have Anne Nocenti, Nocenti coming up. And Stormwatch, the Damonites attack. Stormwatch, always a good read. Paul Cornell rocking it. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. What do you have? You have some DC, no? You got it already. I got it we all. We took all his DC. Yeah, we gave him one. one. <laughs> well, let's talk about Red Lantern. Pity DC. <laughs> well, Daniel, let's just uh, hit a couple quick uh, Marvel titles here. So we still have a lot of stuff to cover. Let's see here. Uh, fans of Greg Rucka's Punisher. Punisher number eight, The Dead Winter. Out this week. That looks great. You've got Thor, The Deviant Saga. So this is actual Thor, not not Not, not somebody Tenaris. Else. That's right. Uh, limited series four of five. This uh, ends next month. Hulk, Red Hulk, Hulk. Oh. Red Hulk. Yep, it's Hulk forty-eight. Ah, the big Venom story they're advertising last month kicks off. Venom Circle of Four. Circle of Four. Yeah. yeah. Ghost Rider X twenty-three. Red Hulk. Venom. I was just gonna say we got some Red Hulk on there too. Yep. So uh, Rick Remender is writing Red this. Hulk on you. It'll get a little Red Hulk. That'll come right out. <laughs> it's issue thirteen of Venom. And Fear Itself, The Fearless, issue 8 of 12. Again, this is... Uh, Have they found them damn hammers They yet? found a couple. They're zipping around. Again, you don't want these things getting into the wrong hands, or you have to do Fear Itself all over again. Nobody <laughs> wants that. You can hold on to that. <laughs> Nobody wants that. Uh, number one, Edward Baker, The Winter Soldier, from the pages of Captain America. Number one. Yep. Uh, all but right. He's dead. He got better. <laughs> I got better. And here he is. Some how, many good time, how many times has he died so far? Uh, you know, four or five? Four or five, gets arms ripped off. No, yeah, he's alright though. He's alright though. And uh, some real fun stuff here from the, the X Worlds. We've got uh, Avengers X Sanction uh, number three of four miniseries out this week. You've got um, X Factor 231 out this week. And some great reading here. You've got, uh, this has actually been really good. Uncanny X Force 21. Again, this is more Rick Remender. And surprising, this new uh, run on Uncanny X Men has been very accessible, a really good read. So, Uncanny X Men number six, At the Mercy of the Immortal Man. Team Blue or Team. Doesn't have the banner. Doesn't have the banner. Might be gold. Might be gold. Okay. As memory serves. Isn't there an X Club this week, too? I guess not. X Club? Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's why we use the books, man. All right, kids. <laughs> we'll tell you what. There's still a pile of stuff. Let's go to segment two. We'll be right back with more of the All Things Fun vidcast right after this. What do I know?